In this video, I'm going to give you 14 natural things to do and try to help lower your blood pressure and control this thing we call hypertension. My name is Dr. Story. I've been a chiropractor for over 25 years. I'm going to give you realistic advice based on my experience and based on the scientific literature. Now, it's one thing to actually take blood pressure medication. I understand if you need to take blood pressure medication, it may be dangerously high right now and you need to control it. Or you may have a genetic component, but if you're not trying to lower your blood pressure naturally, you're missing out on a great thing to do. So let's just get into it and start with number one. Magnesium. Magnesium is a wonderful thing that you can take. If you take 400 milligrams a day, it'll work wonders for you. However, it's not just simple as simple as taking a pill. What you can do is eat foods that are high in magnesium. Now, how do you know a food is high in magnesium? Well, it's easy. If it's a plant, it's probably high in magnesium. Eat more plants. Number two, take some supplements. Take some fish oil. If you don't like fish oil, there's other supplements that you can take that will give you omega-3s. Again, I'll put a link down below for some fish oil. You can also take some garlic, but if you take garlic pills, they do work. However, if you can just eat garlic, it would it's a lot cheaper. So again, there's some links if you want to buy some in Amazon, but try to eat the actual foods and you'll find that they actually work much better. Number three, calcium. You wanna eat foods full of calcium. Now you're probably taking a calcium supplement already because that's pretty standard for most people, but if you're not, you should start, but try eating foods full of calcium. Now there's many ways to get calcium. One way is a bone broth. That actually works really well and is super tasty. Other ways are dairy products, but many people can't handle dairy products. But again, let's get back to the vegetables. A lot of vegetables have calcium in them. So the more vegetables you eat on your plate, the better off you're gonna be. Number four, deep breathing. Now I'll put a link down below, I'll put it either here or here on this side, of how to actually breathe. You don't have to get weird about it, you don't have to do any special breathing, but do it the way I, try it the way I show you in my video, and you'll be amazed how quickly, it's almost like hitting control alternate delete on your, on your computer, it really almost resets your blood pressure. Number five, polyphenols. Now polyphenols are mainly found in uh, like berries. So the more berries you can eat, the better. If you have a kind of a sugar tooth, you know, you like to have something sweet at night after dinner, something like that, uh, put the junk food away, try berries. Polyphenols help us dilate our blood vessels, which helps with our blood pressure. Number six, get rid of the crappy carbs. Stop eating food that came in a box that has 12 different ingredients in it, things you can't pronounce. You know, when you eat way too many carbs, especially carbs that are absorbed quickly into our blood system, uh, it raises our insulin levels. All of a sudden there's too much uh, sugar in our blood and it sets the stage for just raising, not only for diabetes and your blood sugar, but it also raises uh, your blood pressure. Number seven, I don't have a lot of patients that do this, but if you're smoking, you're just asking for trouble. You may as well just forget about it if you're smoking. You have to stop smoking. Now, the question becomes, we're talking about cigarettes, but what about the other stuff that people like to smoke? Uh, some of it will raise your blood pressure, so you gotta be careful, but it's best to just stop smoking. Number eight, lose weight. Now this is obviously easier said than done, but if you can find a way to lose weight, you're gonna have a tremendous difference on your blood pressure. Number nine, dark chocolate. Now, as of right now, dark chocolate is like considered an antioxidant and everybody's eating dark chocolate. I don't know too many people that lower their blood pressure through dark chocolate, but hey, if you like it, it's a little excuse. Better yet, get some berries and dip them in dark chocolate. That actually sounds good. Number 10, learn to manage stress. This is something that as I've gotten older, I've learned to do better. When I was younger, I had a harder time. But um, I don't know how to train people in this. If you need help, search for it. But I found that I care about things that I can control and things that I have no control over. I just stopped caring about. We got rid of television, that helped. Uh, I don't watch the media, that helps. 
I don't watch a lot of negativity. If someone is negative in front of me in my office, I basically let it flow off my, uh, my back like water off a duck. It takes practice, but if you can learn to control stress, it's gonna have an amazing effect on your blood pressure. Number 11, caffeine. Now I know, how can you possibly survive your day without 12 cups of coffee? Um, it's surprising that many people simply don't need coffee or caffeine as stimulants. It's a stimulant. It raises your blood pressure. That's why you take it because you want to feel up. But what happens is things come crushing down, crashing down and then it comes up again. Caffeine is really, I know it's considered in some diets, they almost think that you should just be drinking caffeine with butter, but uh, it's not a health food. So stop doing it. You'd be surprised if you can wake up and just say to yourself, hey, it's gonna be a great day and I've got energy. Suddenly, you don't need that fake energy of stimulants. Number 12, potassium. Potassium is something that could be a little dangerous if you supplement it, so I don't recommend always supplementing it supplementing it unless you have blood work and you could see your doctor but you can eat a tremendous amount of foods that have potassium and you'd be shocked how well eating those foods will uh, affect your blood pressure so any type of nuts vegetables all these things have a lot of potassium bananas are also known for having uh, quite a bit of potassium but some people don't like them because they're too full of sugar so if you have a tendency towards diabetes you don't want to do it you don't want to use bananas, but the truth of the matter is when you get healthy, suddenly bananas are health food. But when you're unhealthy, bananas are bad because of the sugar. So aim to become a healthy person by doing other things and you'd be surprised as you become healthy, your body may tolerate bananas just fine. Number 13, stop with the alcohol. Try to get some help. Um, even if you just have, um, it, you know, one glass a day is, is supposedly fine or two glasses alcohol is if it's abused can be a problem for your liver and then as your liver becomes bad you start to become unhealthy your body compensates by forming hypertension so if you're going to drink alcohol go real easy on it and you know what uh, if you can eliminate it, more the better. Number 14 and the final thing that you could do naturally is so simple that most people are not gonna do it, is to simply go for walks. Now, if you do exercise, if you like to exercise, that may qualify, it depends on the exercise. Uh, there's a quite a bit of research that shows that cardiovascular exercise, endurance exercise, where you raise your heart rate a little bit and continue it for a long period of time is actually more beneficial than strenuous exercise. You are so old that your back goes out more than you do. <laughs> That's funny.